What's good, video pros? Are you tired of hitting every chord button in order to find that your footage looks different from shot to shot? Well, this could happen if you rely on your camera's auto mode to adjust your settings. When I first started out, I relied heavily on my auto functions in my camera. Auto focus, auto exposure, and even auto white balance. Any good photographer or videographer let you know, if you want to look more professional and be more creative, you need to step away from auto mode and move over to manual mode. So today we're going to take control of our camera. We're going to fix these problems. Let's jump right on in to taking control of your shots and mastering manual mode. Let's do it, y'all. So why does auto mode lead to inconsistency? While well, auto settings rely on your camera sensor to make a decision for you, it's constantly adjusting based on what it thinks is the right settings, whether it's focus, exposure, or white balance. One second you have the perfect lit shot, and then the next is overexposed or out of focus because of slight lighting changes in your environment. The solution? Manual settings. Learning to dial in your focus, exposure, and white balance will give you complete control over how your final video looks. Let's talk about focus. In auto, the camera might lock on to the wrong subject, but with manual focus, you choose where the sharpness goes. This is especially helpful when you want to highlight special elements in your shot, like a person's face or an important object. Next, auto mode for your ISO. ISO adjusts your exposure based on how much light the camera detects, which can change suddenly if someone steps in front of your camera. With manual mode, you set the brightness yourself, locking in your shot so it stays consistent, even if the light changes. White balance. Auto white balance often shifts your colors throughout your footage. Setting your white balance manually will keep your colors accurate, avoiding those awkward orange and blue tints. There's a few other things you need to master when it comes down to taking control of your shots, like shutter speed, lens selection, and even aperture f-stops. We'll save these for the next video. Now that's it for today's tip. Now it's up to you to switch over to manual mode on your next shoot and see if you don't notice a difference. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can keep leveling up your skills. Till the next video, remember to capture those moments and do the best with what you have. Peace.